I'll tell you what, uh, you know, during the preseason, uh, the kids got together and, and did a ton of game activities, different things. Um, but I think most important, I think, is uh, the amount of community service that the kids did. Uh, that'd be the main quadrangle. You know, never, ever, ever give up. Um, it, it has to do with, uh, it's a lifelong lesson, no matter what you're doing. Um, you know, we want our kids to have a championship experience, certainly in the classroom, in the community, on the field. Um, but the one thing they can take with them after they leave the walls of our campus, no matter what they're dealing with in any part of their life, is to never, ever, ever give up. You know, keep battling, find a way to overcome adversity. Um, monitor and adjust, adapt and overcome, uh, be mentally tough, but just never ever give in and, and keep striving to be the best you that you can be. Well, hopefully we'll be a little more balanced. Um, last year, we certainly were, um, at the end of the season, a heavy, heavy, heavy run team. Uh, we graduated senior running back Chandler Carroll, who accounted for 46 touchdowns during his career at the University of Chicago. Um, and, and we had about half the volume of throws that we had the previous year. So in 2016, our quarterback was actually the uh, third leading passer in all of Division III football. And then last year, we were a much more heavy, heavy run team. So. Uh, you know, really we're hoping to get back to being a little more balanced football team. We've got four outstanding tailbacks uh, returning to, to carry the bulk of the load plus the addition of the first year kids. Uh, we do have senior, uh, rising junior Marco Cobian um, as a guy that we feel like is going to be in the battle at quarterback along with George Krantz, a sophomore returning. And then the three first year kids coming in in terms of the competition. But having all five offensive linemen back, I think is the biggest thing for us. And we just like at the end of the season, certainly to find a way to score one more point than, than our opponents. But the most important thing for us is to try to be a little bit more balanced as an offense. Well, we, we certainly, uh, you know, again, improved a ton from 2016 to 2017 on the defensive side of the ball. We were actually one of the worst teams in Division Three football in 2016. Um, it took a lot of hard work. Certainly the core group of returning players took it upon themselves to make sure that we got back to being one of those top 25 defensive units. Um, it took a lot of work, certainly from our staff in the off season in terms of breaking everything down that we had done well and why we had done it well. And then certainly the addition of some talented young kids last year helped us. The nose tackle, Jackson Ross, had a great first year for us, was a second team all league player, started all 10 games. I think it all started up front with him. And then certainly on the perimeter, Ryan Montgomery was a kid that helped us uh, solidify numbers in our secondary and, and did a great job as our boundary corner all season. Was a second team all league player as a first year. So a combination, I think, but, but certainly the players put in the work. But we just continue to, to try to improve on the, on the defensive side of the ball. I certainly believe you win with defense and special teams and then find a way to score one more point than they do. I would say uh, rising junior Dante Nepa is a kid for us that we expect big things from. Uh, Dante as a first year for us, started all 10 games, caught 62 balls and was our previous conference rookie of the year. Uh, last season, he only ended up with about 18 catches, and it wasn't anything that Dante did. Um, you know, we've worked very hard as a football staff to try to find ways to get him the football this offseason. Um, certainly, we had about half the volume of throws um, in 2017 as we did in 2016. Um, but he is going to be one of our four captains and uh, is a rising junior for us. Had an outstanding offseason and, and uh, spring football practice, and I'm really looking forward to seeing Dante get back on the grass for us and, and be a big impact player in what we're doing offensively. Uh, it's an outstanding league. Um, we were thrilled to be part of it last year and obviously excited to be going forward. But uh, student athletes, outstanding talent, the coaching from top to bottom, outstanding. Um, it's just a great fit for the University of Chicago, um, certainly academically, philosophically, geographically, and from a competitive balance standpoint. So we're thrilled to be part of the Midwest Conference family. Well, certainly I think the Heisman, you know, every, every day the kids walk into the Ratner Center and, and it's one of the showpieces there in the rotunda when they walk in and out of the building. You know, the history's there, the seven Big Ten championships, but I would certainly say it's the Heisman Trophy.